This is where I got the shop light fixture from, was Lowe's. And you can see it was $18, probably with tax, a couple of more bucks. It has two bulbs for it that'll fit a T8. And it has a transformer. Okay, well that's one thing. The other thing is that the bulbs that I bought the very expensive bulbs are LEDs. So the transformer that's installed at the factory for this light fixture will not work with an LED bulb. So we had to do some modifying of the wiring and eliminate the electronic device within called the ballast within this fixture. And that's what this video shows. These are the bulbs that I ordered through Amazon. You have full light, true color, T8 LED tube lights. I didn't notice the LED when I ordered these. These are dimmable. They're four foot, 48 inches, uh, 32 watt equivalent, cool light. What I was interested in for video work uh, was uh, the CRS number, which is 95. The closer you can get to 100, the more it will emulate true sunlight. I ordered six, and you can see what the price was there. And this is uh, November of 2016 when I ordered these. It was 188 bucks. But these LED ones will last, I don't know how many lifetimes. Ha <laughs> ha. This is a product des description of the uh, light package. If you look on the left-hand column, it uh, gives the color rendering index, the CRI. And over in the right-hand column for that, for that item, in other words, the closest to 100, the better for video and, and photo a lighting of your subject uh, and this one's set at 95 which was pretty outstanding again these are four foot long led tubes uh, let's see what we got here they're cool 4500k uh, color is white tube 120 volts uh, specific uses general purpose uh, fixture features lifetime 24 year uh, it's got a two-year warranty base type double end input frosted cover 240 degrees viewing angle yeah the tube is not like the old fluorescent tubes where it's glass all the way around as you're holding it and putting it into your fixture these only see a portion of where the light would come out. The rest of it has some kind of a reflecting surface. So you're really not seeing light coming, emitting all the way around 360 degrees on these on these LED tubes, which doesn't matter because they are really bright. This is the uh, product manual that came with the LED tubes. And it gives I guess clear instructions if you're an electrician or you've done this a long time. But it's really what you're doing is you're bypassing the electronic ballast uh, to start with first because the LED doesn't like uh, ballast. And it gives a little wiring diagram. And the, the pictorial at the lower right hand corner of the screen shows that on the left side of the screen of the bulbs. Those are the tombstones that the uh, bulbs twist into. They do a half twist, quarter twist to, to install them in the light fixture in the work stand. And uh, they have the neutral or the white wires in the United States anyway. That's the wiring color code for houses. White is your neutral and black is your uh, power where your AC power is coming in. So on the right-hand side, in parallel, 
of these two light bulbs, you have your power on your left hand side, you have your neutral parallel. You can see that the, they're connected with this little white wire here on this end for the, and then for the right side, the power side is right there. So that's what we had to do. And I'm telling you that it's easier to look on YouTube for how to modify these shop light fixtures in order to use the LED tubes. LED tubes may be more expensive, but they last a real long time. I looked at a lot of different YouTube channels on how to do this retrofit. And this one here under 10 minutes I found fit what I was trying to accomplish uh, the most straightforward and, and easiest way uh, for me to understand. Hopefully uh, you might want to try it. It's American West Coast LED company. And the title right down here is how to retrofit the direct wire T8 tube lamps. Those are LEDs. That's what that means. So I found this site very illuminating <laughs> to pun a subject, and you may too. This is the lamp fixture before I modified it and pulled that electronic ballast out. push those clips down to pull the wire out. These white wires are the neutral. Now I'm going to take off the hot wires push down the little button pull those wires out four of them that's the power the black one is goes to the switch and that's the hot side I'm going to take that out and this white one is coming out. I'm going to pull. 
pull out the electronic ballast. So I don't need it anymore. Just slides up. And there it is. I'm going to finish wiring this thing. I got the switch. Just the hot, hot side. And those four wires will tie together. Into this fifth one being the switch. And this white one here is the, is the neutral. And I'm going to tie it to these two guys. So that becomes the neutral side. And this is the hot side. Now I gotta put a jumper, little jumper cable. I'm gonna use red because there's no not enough length of wire left. Okay, let me put in this jumper wire. Pigtail back a little bit. Okay. Well, there's the other end. A wire too short. Just put a jumper in. Goes to the neutral. All three wires are the same color, so that's ground, neutral, and this white one coming up to the switch here is the other end of the hot. So I have that one, and all the black ones coming off of that tombstone, which are right here those together and I'll be done. So there's the neutral. No change of the tombstone. Just remove the electronic ballast. Electronic ballast. I bought two of these tripods to hold the shop lights with the LED bulbs in a vertical orientation for uh, using to, to light a green screen and, uh, for chroma key, also to light subjects on screen. And I do interviews and that type of thing. So these are just a couple of the tripods that I'm using to mount the shop fixtures which I had to modify. I had to drill a couple of mounting mounting holes so that I could attach the fixtures to these tripods. Two of these quarter inch by 20 thread ball heads to use with the tripod to mount the light fixtures on so they can be mounted vertically. So I had to drill a quarter inch hole in the midpoint of the housing. Here's the website I went to get the idea on how to do set up these lights for the video. Here we just show the mini ball on the top of the tripod mounted through a quarter inch not just the hole we drill in the 
in the side of the light fixture to mount it. Here's an outside shot of, of the mini ball on top of a tripod going through the hole that's, that we drilled into the light fixture. I said, my light fixture. This is not my light fixture. This is Glenn, so it looks a little bit more rugged than mine. Here, the job of modifying the light fixture is complete. I have it laying on my uh, guitar bench in the music room, getting ready to put the bulbs back in it, the LED bulbs back in it, and, and give it the test, which it, it worked great. So on to the next project. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope we gave you some ideas if you plan on doing something similar. Easy peasy. Don't electrocute yourself. Don't do this with power on. The fixture, not a good idea. You could end up dead. Okay, we put it back together, put the bulbs back in, plugged it in. Let's see what happens when I pull the power cable. Whoa. Let there be light before one of these worked but it went out as soon as I did this set it vertical success I love YouTube <laughs>